who will come out ahead. That's the Fantella brothers. Losing control of the boats. That must hurt. That must hurt. That's where the battle is. Absolutely flying along. GBR for the gold medal right now. This is where the Olympic sailing season begins, right here in Marina Rubicon, the stunning venue for Lanzarote International Regatta. Three years ago, this event didn't even exist, but the Lanzarote International Regatta is rapidly becoming one of the must-do events of the season. We are in Lanzarote in Canary Islands. We know that we have the, the, the best conditions in winter and the lockdown helped us to show everyone that that was the truth. Lanzarote gives them a really good package of sailing, training, surfing, biking uh, and lifestyling. So at the end, this third year, we are organizing a top event and we are really established as a, the winter base uh, for Olympic sailing. Across eight days, more than 360 sailors from 39 nations have come to Marina Rubicon to compete across six Olympic disciplines. It's a competition of two halves. First out of the gate were the 470 mixed trapeze dinghy and the men's and women's skiffs, the 49er and 49er FX. The variable conditions brought a bit of everything, including some enormous waves which put the skiff fleet right on the edge of control. For the 49er FX fleet, three back-to-back -back races on day two in challenging conditions ended up becoming a war of attrition. The main battle was not with the other boats, but with Mother Nature, simply to keep bodies and boat in one piece. Three medal races on day four of the Lanzarote International Regatta, and we had our first winners from a thrilling week of competition. The thick dust of the Kalima wind from the Saharan Desert limited visibility, but it failed to put a limit on the drama. In the 470, Silvia Mass and Nico Rodriguez won the medal race, but a late surge by Spanish teammates saw Jordi Jama and Nora Brugman surf past two boats to clinch the gold medal by a single point. Mass and Rodriguez took the silver, and the Swedes had to settle for bronze. We won the Lanzarote Regatta, International Regatta, here in Marina Rubicon. And uh, it was quite a few days, very windy and wavy, so it was a lot of fun. Always that we come here to Marina Rubicon, we are, we are happy, no? everyone is with smiles in the faces, the uh, temperature is great, the wind is perfect, the waves, it's, it's everything no? for, for us and, and we are obviously really happy to, to always to be here and, and obviously if there's an international regatta and we can win it even more. In the men's and women's skiff fleets, it was a double win for Great Britain. Yeah, we just won the Lanzarote International Regatta. Um, unfortunately, we didn't manage to get any final fleet racing in, but the, the medal races for all all the classes went ahead, and it was yeah, it was it was brilliant out there. It was not quite as big waves as we've seen the last two days, um, which uh, which made it a bit more saleable. But yeah, awesome fun. Yeah, I mean, it's my first uh, international Olympic regatta win, so so buzzing and I'm so proud of what we've done in the last year to get us to this point. We couldn't have done it without the support behind us, especially our main sponsor, GRP Boat Repairs. And yeah, it was a great feeling. Day five was the start of part two of the Lanzarote International Regatta. The Saharan dust had cleared and bright sunshine returned to the Canary Islands. Everything was perfect for the start of NACRA 17 and IQ foil competition. On 
day six, the first northerly breeze of the week brought flatter water and shifty offshore wind conditions. Compared with previous big wave days at the regattas, day six was a completely different challenge. That's what the sailors love about Lanzarote. You get the opportunity to practice in all conditions. Today was completely different from yesterday. Uh, flat water, um, shifty conditions. It was really interesting. Like There was a lot to play in, inside the, the course race. Uh, I really like the conditions. Um, really different from yesterday, really different. All the setting, everything was you needed to compare it to these conditions, but it was nice. Today was quite heavy, it was big waves, but tricky winds. Um, I was really pleased to get a one and a two in the quite big fleet that we had. It was somewhere between 70, 80 people on the line, which was big. Um, yeah, great fun. And yeah, we're just really happy to be racing here in Lanzarote. Day eight, the final day of competition with three more gold medals on the line. Billy Besson and Noah Onchion won NACRA 17 gold for France with Argentina and New Zealand taking silver and bronze. We are so close so we just managed to be to be good and to do uh, our best to to manage the boat and don't think about the other team just be uh, be aware of us and do our best. The Israeli squad have dominated the IQ4 women's racing all week. However, tricky breeze on the race course meant that the medal series couldn't go ahead. So by default, Israel took all three spots on the podium with Shahar Tibi on the top step. I just won a gold medal in the Lanzarote International Regatta. I'm quite happy about these results, I can say. British rider Sam Sills had worn the leader's yellow bib since day one, but the winner takes all format of racing, favoured by the IQ foil class, often throws up surprise victories. While Sills vaulted at the start, France's Adrian Mestre was fast out of the gate and went on to snatch the gold medal. So I just, uh, just took the gold from the final. It's an amazing feeling as we have this uh, final format uh, where the winner takes all. So I'm really happy to have been doing it. And that's it, it's an amazing feeling. I, I can't even believe it, but it's, it, it, was, it was that it was, and it's amazing to, to, to experience it. Eight days of dramatic competition were complete. Through all forms of waves and weather conditions, this regatta was a big test of all round ability. It's why even more of the world's best Olympic sailors will be back in 2024 for next year's Lanzarote International Regatta.